Good afternoon, Sean Lawson here at Arbutus RV in sunny Port Alberni. Another beautiful day here today. We're at Arbutus RV Port Alberni, one of Arbutus RV's five locations here on Vancouver Island. And today I've got a special treat, uh, Solitude 373 front bedrooms. That's the uh, 373 FB. Solitude is just an incredible product by Grand Design. Grand Design's a company that's been around now for about six years. Uh, they partnered with Winnebago recently and uh, just real excited to show off this product. Uh, this is uh, the top of the line trim level. There's also an S-Class trim level below this and the S-Class trim level changes up the finish on the exterior slightly rather than the gel coat that you get on this one. It would just have a standard fiberglass finish. Um, still looks great um, and has all the other great construction qualities etc. But uh, that uh, the exterior changes slightly. Uh, this one's got the frameless windows where the S-Class would have the traditional windows uh, with the same seals that you'll find on all other Grand Design products. But the frameless windows are nice because you can tilt them open. So even on a rainy day, you can have your windows open and um, uh, allow for a little bit of, of a breeze through the trailer. We'll have a look here at the pass-through storage. So with the drop frame on these, um, so the I-beam runs uh, the majority of the trailer up to a certain point and right at about that mid-level where that uh, one of the six point levelers is at the frame drops down with another I-beam section and that allows the frame to be lower and increase the storage in your uh, your front storage compartment. You've got a Rotaflex pin box at the front there uh, really helps to travel very nicely. Schwintec slide system on a couple of the slides and then a traditional rack and pinion on the rear larger slide. Here's a look at all of your water and electrical connections. So they make it really easy for winterizing and uh, taking water into your tanks or, or using the city water connection at your campsite. Um, automatic leveling system, so just push a button and the six point leveling system jumps into action and gets everything set up really nicely for you. Slide toppers as well. We're actually right beside an S-Class, um, so you can see the difference. Windows are just a traditional window, no slide toppers. And I don't know if you can see the difference in the finish, but uh, you've got a gel coat finish on the, the Solitudes uh, when it's not an S-Class. So let's head around the other side. I wanna just point out too that we've got an awning a main awning area as well as another awning over there by those two chairs. So tons of area outside the trailer um, to give you some covered storage. Your door is very well covered here with the awning going a few feet past it. Um, you've got the Moride steps here. That's a four step Moride step system. It's got a easy lift system in it as well. So it's very easy to lift up into the, uh, into the trailer. So when you're traveling, you don't have stairs hanging down below. So we'll head in here. The main living space is at the back. So your rear kitchen and living area is at the rear. And then it's a front bedroom, so we'll get up into that area as well. Thomas Paine collection seating. I've got the LED lights on. Um, so you've got recline, heat, massage, and lights. Drink holders as well. That's a tri-fold sofa. So very easy to fold out. Comfortable for, for a couple of people to sleep on if you're entertaining and you've got guests staying over. That trifold sofa is very, very nice. Solid surface countertops throughout. Nice big fireplace and a TV. I've only got it part way out because I wanted to show that there's a window in behind there. But that TV pops up. When you lose the window because of the TV, you still get some nice natural light coming in from behind the, uh, the, the oven and counter space. Large Furion microwave above. Large four-door Norcold fridge freezer combination. The island here is just massive. It's got a double sink in the middle there, as well as dishwasher prep at the, at the far end. If you elect not to go with the dishwasher, you just get some great cupboard storage. Large windows, tallest slides in the industry. Uh, the windows are fully framed out and um, the framing comes up from the bottom meets the framing of the window and it's completely wrapped so very very solid slides uh, and nice and tall so when you know six foot five getting into this slide area you're not feeling like you have to crouch down 
And that, of course, allows for large windows as well. The bigger the slide, the taller the slide, the bigger the windows. All right, you've got a pantry there that's lit, lit up pantry. So you open this up, lights will come on. You've got a, a few shelves and some nice woodworking down below with a few drawers. So awesome little pantry space. This has got a mid bathroom as well, which is right at the lower level. So if you're entertaining, your guests aren't going up through your bedroom. So you've got a two piece bathroom here. Again, lots of storage, some great light. And you've got a window at the top there just to, just to give you a little extra accent lighting into the trailer. So here's a look up into the bedroom. You've got a vacuum connection right there. Floor vacuum connection as well. Storage in the lower cupboard. And then here's all of your um, controls. It's got generator prep in it as well. And let's head up into the bedroom. Now I should say this isn't just got generator prep. It's actually got an Onan generator built right into it. So you're all set to go. There's solar prep as well. Um, so you've got plugins at both sides as well as USB ports. This is a king bed. You've got a window above the bed as well as the two side windows for cross ventilation. Nice barn door style sliding door to close off your bedroom and bathroom. Some storage there. These seats actually lift up so you've got storage there as well. You've got a television and some more windows so lots of natural light. And we're just going to finish off into the bathroom here. So you've got a nice large residential looking and feeling shower and uh, skylight foot flush porcelain toilet you've got lock, lots of ducting here for your air conditioning and furnace throughout the trailer so all areas of your rv are going to be um, temperature controlled nice big closet area you can put a washer and dryer in this space as well and we would just need to plumb the dryer vent through the wall your water plumbing is already there though some great storage and have a look at that vanity. So you've got an awesome double sink, lights around the mirror. These, uh, the wood trim around all the slide outs is solid hardwood as opposed to an MDF product. So that's been the Solitude 373 by Grand Design. So much to talk about. I've really only just barely touched on it. The story about Grand Design is a great one. And there's a little bit of that information in every trailer. So come on down. Learn a little bit more about this solitude. Lots of other great products to offer you as well. And as always, should have a look at that too. 2019 and it's on sale for a great price. Uh, down just about $30,000 from MSRP. So as always, five days, four nights stay at Pacific Playgrounds. Compliments of Arbutus RV. And that comes with, with every RV purchase. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more or have any questions, please give us a call. Again, this is Sean Lawson at Arbutus RV in sunny Port Alberni. Have a wonderful day.